Have you ever been just royalty and just have a crown? Then all of a sudden, a dumb boo just takes and just. What you, what you doing there, buddy? Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, the <laughs> that's right. We're making the spooky thing that spooked you. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I make King Boo. Lost my voice uh, playing as him. I don't know if you could tell, but in that Thanksgiving Thanksgiving special that I thought would be way more. I thought people would want to watch it more, but according to the views, it didn't do well. So let's make let's make him. Let's make your own. I know, I know. It took forever to make him, or at least come up with a video to the, the filming, the DIY, and all that. And the, yeah, I told you I was gonna do it November, and now it's December. But it's okay, guys. I I made it, and y'all get a template on it. So get it in the description. And before you say anything, and the how bad and crappy it looks, I fixed the template. So yours looks twenty times better than mine. I'm not really sure how to do the eyes, so y'all are gonna have to do that on your own, unfortunately. I'd have it on the template, but obviously King Boo doesn't actually look like that. So, the eyes are up to you how that little piece works. That are, I mean, my this is already on the template, in case you just wanna do the same one mine is. Your mouth should not be as big as mine. It was not meant to do that, it's supposed to be smiling, so yours is gonna end up being t way better than mine. Unless you like the big open mouth, then that's also on the template. So watch these little revisions I made in after this clip. But yeah, we're making King Boo. You're gonna need white, black, dark blue, yellow, and pink fabric. Uh, pins, needles, the thread, and, and and stuffing, and scissors, and, and also this pattern works for any kind of boo you want, and uh, any other kind of design King Boo you want. I mean, I know there's like three, so yeah, pick your favorite. So the problem I found out was that this piece is too big to fit the whole sheet of paper. So as you can see, I only did half of it. So remember, when you're cutting out your fabric, you want to cut out this half. Then before you cut down this side, just kind of flip it open and then cut it, keep cutting out the rest of this. Just put the template on the, on the opposite side. So basically have the template turn like that and continue cutting. Or you could just print this part twice and kind of just tape, tape both sides together and place it on your white fabric and cut the whole thing out. So it's up to you, but this is only half of the face. You need to have the other half as well. Do not, do not cut out on your fabric like two halves and then flip it and sew. No, this is half. Then get that paper, flip it that way on your fabric and continue cutting. Never end the cutting down here. It looks something like mine. As you see, there's no cut in the middle. It's just kind of one piece. So I modified it. So now it's smaller because I realized how long it would be. So this is what it should look like now to make it normal sized. All right, so let's start. So step one, you want to cut out these pieces here. You want to sew the eyes to this weird little black piece for the face. Now you can either do this before or after you have the plush done. I'm doing it after, but this is how you do it before. So after you have those sewn on, you're going to get the face piece, place it on there, or uh, line it up, and just attach it on there. Then what you're going to do is, so once that's on there, if you're choosing to do that, you want to flip that like this. And then from there, sew to the top. And from there to the top. Then what you want to do is flip this in half. And sew from there to there. Then I'll show you what's next. But let me show you how to sew that. Alright, to sew pieces on other pieces. We're going to do a stick needle under. Going through the pink and black. Pull and come back down on the black. Then from the bottom, come back up on the pink. And then go back down on the black. And then just repeat that step for the whole eye. And also repeat these steps for like connecting this piece onto the white. Just... That's how you do it. So these pieces, you want to stick it through like that, then pull. Come back around and stick it through the fabric just like that, then pull once more. And keep repeating that step all the way to the end. Remember the signet to sew. So I'm just going to repeat that step all the way to the end. So that's what that's looking like. And once you reach the end, you want to get this thread right there and wrap it around the needle three times. Like that, then pull. And that's what that looks like after you're done. So now do that step for this part where you just flip it like that and so same thing with the part down here so your piece should look like something like this right now just kind of kind of a ring thing anyway so then we're gonna cut out two of these uh body pieces and all you're gonna do is sandwich them on each other line it up and using the stitch we used to attach these little pieces you're gonna t sew all the way around leaving this long piece open so that's what this should look when you're Done. It's all sewn. Now what you want to do is cut out the two mouth pieces. We have the lower mouth and the upper mouth. So 
So what you want to do is basically line this up with that corner right there and kind of keep sewing it all the way around, kind of wrapping this thing around until that other side meets. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. So that's what it should look once you're done. It should look kind of like that. You can see that wrapped all the way around. Anyway, so now we're gonna put that aside and work on the tongue. So what you wanna do is start from here. So all the way around the only opening should be here, turn it inside out, stuff it barely, just like a little bit. So that's what that should look like. I did stuff it a little down here. So now what you wanna do is just kinda like, I don't really know how to explain, just sticking it through the back and up to the forward and then back down just to create a line down there if you want. If not, it's completely optional. Uh, I'm gonna do it with my machine just cause it'll be easier than trying to do it by hand and also look way better. So I'll get back to you on that. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this piece to the bad side. See, there's that and there's the bottom. So now what you're gonna do is kind of open it up, have this turn to the good side. Remember this one piece that's a little longer than the top part. That's what it should look like, kind of like that. It should be, here's the top part of the mouth and here's the lower part of the mouth. This is how my tongue turned out. It turned out, it turned out pretty decent to me at least. So you wanna get your piece right here. You're gonna to wanna to get this and you kind of just want to sew it in the middle like that. It should just kind of poke out like that. That's what should happen. And then when you're like turn into the regular ghost or how it should be, it'll be nice and tucked in like that. The reason it's long is to fit inside his mouth. So anyway, so let's say this is already attached on. We're going to pretend that's already connected. So then you're going to have this side on the good side and you want to just have this on the bad side. Then you want to put this in here, try to line it up as good as possible with the top jaw or the upper mouth with the upper part of the face and the bottom mouth with the bottom part of the body. All right, before we continue on, I need you to do this first. So you're gonna cut out two of these pieces right here. These are the teeth from here. So all the way around like this, leave this whole top part open and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so that's what the teeth look like. I stuffed it just a little bit to give it more kind of like a popping out looking thing. All right, make more 3D. Now you're gonna flip this. This is what it should be looking like as you're sewing it. It should be looking like that. So leave this gap open here. Just where the two ends of this meet. As you can see, there's two stitch marks. Just leave that part open. Then all you're gonna do is line your teeth up down here. Make sure it's at a good length. And all you're gonna do is continue sewing. I will quite literally just take it through all the way pull go back in like this stick your needle all the way through pull go back in just repeat that step all the way to the end and then you should turn you should have your teeth and turn it inside out and you'll be done so kind of line it up as good as you can the tongue should be sticking out through the back over here so what you want to do is just sew all the way around the stitch we've been using and then turn it inside out all right, so this is what your boot should look like right now. So you turn it inside out and there's the teeth. It looks way better than if it was just one piece of fabric. So then what you wanna do is you see this long piece right here? This is the back of the mouth. Where you sewed the tongue, you're gonna to wanna to line that up. Here we go. So you have the body piece like this on the bad side, flip it upside down. So the tail's facing downwards. You're gonna go up here. So the tail's down there, there's the bottom of it. Grab that, have this, like that. Line it up here where the tongue is. You can kind of see the stitching where you put the tongue. And you wanna line it up, kind of center as much as you can and kind of just sew around there, just like a little bit, just like, I guess that much from here to there, just sew that much. And then I'll show what to do next. All right, so this is what you should be seeing. There's the face, there's the back sides upside down. So now to, Arrange it correctly because it's kind of mix mix arranged right now. So all you're gonna do is just turn that to the bad side like that, and quite literally flip it down like this. So then you want to turn it over. There's the tail. There's the tail. Here's the front of the head. You want to center it. Make sure this stitch is centering your head. See there, you kind of just want to arrange the rest of the head. So as you can see, I pinned it here at the top. So the only hard part really is going to be kind of just sewing it around, sewing it around, sewing, and then you get to this tricky situation. So obviously you can't really turn it inside or anything. But you see this stitch right here, I'm trying to line it up 
with a stitch right there underneath this big area and kind of just continue sewing ignoring this mouthpiece I don't even see it right there see that has to align with up here and kind of just keep sewing all the way around and go under the black piece continue sewing and lining up all the way around leave an opening on the top or side and then you'll be you'll be done with your base now this is optional but you can get your hand piece i don't have any cut out so because i don't have it yet in this clip but let's say let's say you get two pieces this is not the hand the hand's gonna look way different let's say you get your hand you sew it it looks like that whatever it's on the good side right you can have your hand on the good side here on the side of your boo you want to place it inwards and just have this piece sticking out so pretend this is sewn turned into that and stuff so it's all ready place it inwards like that so only the edge sticks out and you continue sewing and that's how you connect the hand all right so this is what the hand looks like you're gonna get two of these pieces you're gonna sandwich them on each other sandwich them on each other like that so from here all the way around turn into that and stuff them and i'll show you what to do next so what your kimbu should kind of look like here so this is how my face is going to start looking like because i don't know how else to make them look mad and not sad because if i do an eye lined up with that it looks sad but i'm just going to add like a circle and a dot a line to make it mad or not so y'all can customize however you want your face to be this is just how mine's going to be something like that but your body should end up looking like something like this you can see there the teeth do stick out like that so what i recommend is just sewing like the tips just down here like for all of them just like kind of flatten that out so i'll show you what that looks like after i do it but moving on to the crown i'm gonna attach that last i want to see how the crown looks on him first so these are the pieces you want to cut out for the crown this is what it should kind of look like these and these are the same same with these two they're all the same uh anyway so what we're gonna do first we're gonna grab one of these grab one of those and this one what you're gonna do is they're on the good side flip it over sandwich it from there to the top and then grab this one this one will be sewed on already. Place that, that so they're top. Same thing with the other two. Just do that. Then I'll show you what to do next. This big triangle right there, all on the good side. You're gonna flip that to the back side like that. From there, so to the bottom. Have this one from there, so to the bottom. So it should kind of look like this too. And then once all that's connected, literally, like let's say that's on the good side. Good side. Have this flip it over, line it up, and kind of sew against that side. Do that for both pieces. All right, so next step is after you have, this is what these two should look when you're done. Yo! Like, uh, after you're done, all you gotta do is put, sandwich these two and sew from this side to the other side. Leave the open, it, leave the top open. All right, so these should cut out. This piece will be the top of it. All you're gonna do is line it up here and kind of just sew all the way around by quite literally just pressing it on there and sewing all the way around. Leave an opening, turn it inside out and stuff it. And I edit the template because this looks more like a ball edit. So it's longer, more like a crystal shape. So yours should look way better than mine. Right, Bowser. I forgot to film this, but you want to cut out two of these pieces and just sandwich them and sew it on. Then you're going to grab this end and connect it to this end just to make like a whole circle kind of thing. Like that. So look. Arrange it like that to get the end. So just sew from that corner all the way to the other. So the only opening should be the whole bottom piece. So all I did, I forgot to film this part, all I did was wrap it around the crown. I'll show you after. What, basically what you want to do to sew is this. So basically all I want to do is poke me up through it like that and pull and then come down on the white do that and pull go back on the yellow and pull and just repeat that step all the way around all right everyone and that is how you make a king boo plush from luigi's mansion dark moon uh i added the template so your mouth looks more happy than just kind of just open like that and i'm not really sure how to do the eyes so if you came up came up with that good luck for you and also fix the crown so y'all should look way more better than mine Hope y'all enjoyed the templates. Link in the description. And yeah, like and subscribe for more. That's my crown, you bitch! <laughs>